What's up my people? How on a day waiting they happen waiting this up? Welcome back to our channel. Okay guys, here we've got Tonto DK in the news again. Tonto DK and Jemena. And seriously, I just think this is getting uh, messier, like everyday new stuff. Tonto DK posted recently saying this, Dear lawyers, stop calling me to beg on anyone's behalf. That's Jemena's, on Jemena's behalf. Remember the case between Jemena and Tonto DK and Jemena is requesting for 500 million naira for damages. <laughs> Remember, Popo Kui or whatever that guy's name that guy's name is, is also requesting for 10 billion naira from Tonto DK. Well, <laughs> even though that is laughable, <laughs> but here's the thing. I already made my opinion clear yesterday. I said personally I think Tonto is bitter. And I don't know why, I don't understand why. But let me finish this. She said, do what you are paid to do. They don't call me king in vain. And you keep wondering, why is this so personal to her? What a normal person would have done, well, that's what I'm trying to say, is reach out and be like, oh, I'm sorry, because I saw some comments saying, oh, maybe Tondo is trying to help. All you have to do is, okay, maybe it's a mistake you made the public. Oh, I was trying to help. I'm sorry, right? Even when they try to reach out to you, in private, you didn't give them any audience. And that shows that right from the onset, <laughs> you were not happy. You were bitter right from the beginning. Maybe there's something more to this. I don't know. Maybe there's something we need to know, except there's something more that we need to know, that we should know. But if it's just this, based on what happened between you and your ex, I'm talking about Tonto DK. Based on what, what happened, I don't think Jemena deserved this. And Jemena says she lost pregnancy. That's why, you know, I even saw some comments saying, oh, you lost the pregnancy because you were twerking. It's not because of that. Even though I think that's insensitive um, of people to say that, I mean, you know, depression could make you lose your pregnancy. You know, sudden shock could make you lose it. And it depends. Your environment, certain things little that might be little to someone else, you know, might be serious to another person. But yeah having said that so about the sex tape thing tonto dk and jimena took it you know from tiwa savage <laughs> you remember it was tiwa savage you know uh, that started this whole conversation about sex tape <laughs> they took it from where um tiwa savage left off and it's crazy now I saw someone, I think Shadi Lalibo said, focus on the man that hurt you. That is the line I'm looking for. It seems like Tonto DK is so pained that she just needs to inflict that on someone else. And I think that is it. I, I mean, you know, she, she seemed like the woman who would um, transfer uh, aggression or aggression of her previous relationship to an innocent man. I don't know her that much, but it seemed like that. That's why I said, except there's something that we don't know. Because currently, right, the other guy with Stone to Decay, I don't know if it's a PA, they are friends to the guy, you know, they call him Mayor or Major. This guy said, um, after Jemena's brother replied, his statement, you know, about the, um, Jemena's family reaching out, you know, this guy replied saying um, something happened at Oriental Hotel. We're going to watch the video. Something happened at Oriental Hotel. Don't make me reveal it to the general public. Blah, blah, blah. What is, I don't understand. Is there something more to this? The fact, the point there is, Tonto Dike shouldn't have mentioned a name from the onset. Why are we digressing now? Why is this being, it seems like this is becoming something else. Uh, Mayo, I'm really shocked at you that you could come and you twist the whole story. I, only, I reached out to you when my sister had miscarriage due to this issue at hand. I asked you to tell Tonto to please retract the information that she published against her because that information was false and which you told me that you can't do that, that what you can only do is for you to organize a meeting between us and Tonto. So why are you coming out to say that I came to beg you that Jimena's marriage with her husband is still intact and in perfect condition? So why, why are you coming to change the whole, the whole, the whole thing? I'm, so, I'm really, I, I, don't, I didn't expect this from you, but no problem. Say on the I don't go caught. Then now you will see the real mayor. 
ask your friend, ask anybody around me. When I stand with Percy, I stand to the end. I can't lie. You Tony, I cannot call you or think of calling you. I don't have Jimena number, you know that? You gave me a number, right? And I've never called you since this whole thing happened. Why would I call you? Call you for what? There is a of me lying, me that know everything about Jimena at Popogri. Okay, don't worry. She, I traveled to Lagos with Popogri. And I was in a rental hotel. I know what I saw there. I have the video and I have my proof. So we'll get to court. Let court. See. They really, really want to finish this lady's marriage. I, she posted a, a video after this whole thing to show that, you know, my marriage is still intact. But I think Jimena needs someone to advise her that, look, don't post anything like that on social. It's fine. You don't need to prove anything on social media because social media is not the best place to solve anything. You don't have to sh prove that you're still in your husband's house because uh, it doesn't solve anything. Let's watch this video. looking for it's not here move on move away from this child you see sometimes you ask yourself why people go through certain problems in life oh they don't deserve this 70 percent of those people deserve it but we don't know these are something either they did in private or you know in their relationship life in just something you know that is what is happening to Tonto DK. Again, note, except there's more to this. If there's nothing more, if just based on what the information that's on social media, currently on social media, uh, then I would just say Tonto DK is a, a, a very smart manipulator and game player. Remember, she became friends with um, Gis Lover, you know, all of a sudden, because she knows that she needs Gis Lover for that and i think i saw a post uh where they said um just love a posted saying um who wants the jimena voice notes uh me i don't see voice notes yeah because of course you need just love us backing on social media you need someone like just love us backing so that you don't get caught out or i'm sure she will also lay her hands on certain things that might implicate tone to the girl that might you know put her in a bad light or something but to to prevent that from happening, you have to make, you have to become friends with your enemy. You know, draw them closer and fight other people. I just think that's what she's trying to do. Tonto Dike is hot and looking for someone to pass it on to. And Jemena happens to be that scapegoat. Now, Jane has denied that such sex tape exists. Even Prince has also denied having a sexual relationship with um, Jane and says no sex tape of him and Jane exist. But Tonto DK insists there is a sex tape of Jemena with Prince. Personally, I don't even care whether there's a sex tape or not. I said it. Why mention her name? This guy had posted and says, Tony, you called me with your sister Jemena to please talk to King Tonto to save um, your sister's marriage. Maybe the next petition is against me. I'm waiting since you guys still trying to harm me. Receiving so many calls from different people. I stand with King Tonto. Stand with... I, that's what I'm saying. Is there something more to this? Like they were calling you guys to calm down. That's why they were calling you guys. Like stop including our name. Is there something bad in that? Is there, do I have to hide anything to call you that? Hey, look at what is, that, what is happening on social media. I don't like it. Remove my name. I don't know, is there something more? Tonto Dike's friend had posted saying, Jemena, I knew when you called pleading to speak um, with my friend Tonto, you were up to no good. Yet, I gave you audience. I am not surprised to read your post, which is up to no good, that you mentioned, <laughs> or maybe I don't understand the meaning of up to no good, that you mentioned her name and she's calling you that please talk to Tonto Dike to stop mentioning my name or stop pushing the story i don't get 
Okay, let's continue. I'm not surprised to read your post, which is at a variance with what um, really transpired between us via the phone. It is only those who are emotionally insecure that speak from both sides of their mouth. You cannot be begging me on phone to meet with my friend and come on social media to take a 360... <laughs> She is reaching out simply every I, I would have done the same thing reach out to you because I don't want All those rubbish on social media. I might reach out to you privately and say, please Remove that It's normal. Why is it a big deal? You know, my friend will not fall for your cheap and childish rantings um, So there is no this whole thing with Tonto DK is becoming childish like Tonto DK's move and this is where this guy, this lady, Jemena, made it known that she lost her pregnancy to this. Um, she, somebody says, yeah, the posts are getting much today. What is really bothering you? And she says, yeah, I lost a pregnancy, but double fold coming in. We thought, ah, okay, September is the height of it all. But October <laughs> seemed to be the worst. Yeah, it's not even 15th or so middle of October yet. And this is happening here is what shade ladipo says sis focus your energy on the man who hurt you it wasn't the woman who hurt you okay tonto dk had posted yesterday saying only a fool falls for a fool's trick see you in court is enough message if i was talking to an adult but now nah, you rather twerk to court kiddo tonto dk i think you are the kid here honestly like this girl is even more mature than you you know she tried to reach you in private like a mature person that's what a mature person will first do like look retract that take that down you might even take it silently without our attention that she's way way mature it's not by age maturity is not by age guys let us move straight to the next one and let me know what you think about this in the comment section below here we've got two face and the baby mama where we again now we just saw this footage on social media we've got eyes on social media <laughs> look once your life is on social media be ready for the heat it's not easy it's not easy at all it's been silent about two phases. Social media or internet have been silent about two phases private life. The only thing we hear is, oh, two face sons, um, two face kids, you know, social media. A lot of kids, blah, blah, blah. Father of all nations, Abraham, Mr. Abraham, Father Abraham. And now it's out there. Just like two face in the limelight. <laughs> the whole private life is in the limelight. And people are watching. So two face is in Abuja, right? For an entertainment conference. And Pero as well is in Abuja currently. In fact, uh, a friend posted recently saying, and she reposted it, my dark chocolate baby in Abuja tonight. We are lit. Right? And she herself posted this, Nigeria Fao, Abina America Fani. The question is, what is she doing in Abuja? That is the big question. We all know what has been happening, right? Between Bero and Edibia and Two Face Edibia, we know Ani Edibia is not okay with Two Face Edibia having um, Bero around him. And now they're both in Abuja. I saw someone in the comment section. Oh, let us quickly go to Ani Edibia's page. Let us, you know, click the notification bell in case she posts anything about this. Can you just imagine the big good thing about social media in Nigeria is the entertainment that comes with it, although at the expense of other people's private lives, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Moving on, here, another private life. A he posted a new man, you know, flaunt a new man. I mean, just like Tonto DK, right? And we know what happened. For those of you that don't know, she got uh, married to someone. This was a big marriage in 2018, and it became came messy after that where she calls this man out calls this man ritualist and stuff like that we're gonna watch jaroma's take about that or a reaction you know about that she's posted numerous men on social media and at the end of the day it ends in 
in tears. In fact, she's dated MC Oluomo, the king of Agbeo in Oshodi. That one later got married to someone else. And I think while the rumors or while they're still dating or they already broken up in private and this guy tied the knot with his baby mama, one of his baby mamas, you know, that stays in Germany. Now, let us listen to what this lady have to say, Jaruma. You know, Jaruma also <laughs> has her flaws, but I think she's got a point here. Let's watch. Hey, please, please, please stop posting your men on social media. Stop posting your men completely on social media. Three men you have posted on social media and for their own mental health, for the mental health of the men, for their sake, Three men you posted on social media. First, you got married in 2018. It was a very extravagant wedding, very extravagant, and very lovely. There was no wedding like that in 20, 2018. Money was spent. And after just a few months, the marriage crashed. And not just a, like a peaceful breakup or peaceful divorce. It was a very, very um, a, a messy uh, a divorce. You know, it was in the, in the you, you posted this guy on social media, calling him a ritualist, calling him all sorts of names, a monster, his, this, that, that, that. You posted your own baby in the ICU, in the hospital, you know, intensive care, you know, saying that the guy wanted to use your baby for rituals, you know? And then after a while, you now posted him again, praising him, praising him. And then after a while again, you posted him again, abusing him, abusing him, you know? So now, fine, that one, gone. Then you started dating MC Olumo, and then people started, oh, you're dating a tout, you're dating an agboro, you're dating an illiterate, all the nasty things, all the nasty, hurtful things started, you know, flowing all because of you dating MC, MC Olumo, you know? Now this third guy, you've posted him early, now it has started. The social, you already know that people have been paid to bring you down. People have been paid to tarnish your image. So because of that, there is no need to even show them if you're if you're if you're winning or if you have a man or if you're ma no need. Let them say whatever they want to say. That you don't have a man. MC Olomo has when we were dating um MC Olomo in the middle of the relationship, MC Olomo wants to get married to someone else and you were with him. Ha! If that happened to me, I'll just die. I'll just die. After the public, everybody is talking about the relationship public, and then you still go, the guy will still go and marry someone else. It's so painful. I can't imagine how that feels. You know? So, now this guy, you've posted this guy. For the sake of their mental health, now they've started trolling this guy, abusing this guy. Mind you, all these men that you're posting on social media, they have family. They have family, they have sisters, they have cousins. You know, very soon his cousin will call him. Ha! Ah, his 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 sister will call him. Ah! Da, da, have you seen this? Have you heard this? Have you just... then they will start poisoning his mind, poisoning his mind, poisoning his mind. So just keep all your men off social media. Hey, if everybody wants to say that um, nobody has married you, mm, you're divorced, everybody has done you, let them say. But keep all these men off social media for the sake of the man's mental health. I learned this the hard way because in 2018, you people said that I staged and I staged in 2018. Because of that, I had to keep posting my husband every day, posting my husband every day just to prove that I didn't fake and stage my marriage. Still, again, social media pushing you to prove, pushing you. That's how social media will be pushing you to prove things. I had to post him every day to show that I didn't fake and stage my marriage. Then the insults started coming. Oh, I married my videographer. I married my PA. I married my um, uh, bodyguard. I married my houseboy. I married my... The guy is broke. The guy doesn't have any money. I'm the one feeding the house. All the nasty things started coming. You understand? When I go post him, they'll say, Oh my God, look at him. He's not even into her. He doesn't like, look at his body language. Oh, he's so tired of her. For the sake of his mental health, I thought it was that I was going to be okay until they started saying that um, he's a thief. You know, now your man, they're saying that uh, he's a, he's a Yahoo, Yahoo boy. He's a man. Do you know that FBI is heavy on Nigerian social media? FBI is heavy on Nigerian social media because they are looking for all those people that are doing all this internet problem. They want to see how you lavish money and then they'll come and investigate you how you're getting that kind of money. So now that they're saying, oh, He's a foster, he's into Yahoo, Yahoo, this, 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 this. all this, they're not necessary, it's not needed. 
It's not needed. So, hey, this is just what I want to say. You know, just just stop posting your 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 men on social media because I learned this the hard way. I learned this the hard way. In fact, even my mother that was posting on social media before social I was posting on social media before, they said that I'm renting the mother just to show like I'm a good daughter. If it's easy to rent mother, why am I not renting father to show the father too on social media? Do you get all these things? People I just posted like uh four, four, five beautiful pictures. Or a nice background, and people came that hey, I'm broke, I don't have a house again. I'm now using background for my for my pictures and my videos, and I'm in the village. I'm in Here we've got Shay Shay saying, My fight with Tiwa Savage would have been very different if I didn't have peace at that time. And people are saying it is not too late, too. you can still start the fight because she's trying to say, I would have retaliated, I would have slapped her, kicked her. But because I, I already found peace with myself, I, I refused to do that that day. So the comment, you can still do that now. This was during the interview with Trudy, a recent interview. She says, yeah, guess what? If I had not spent a, a good couple of years finding my center, my peace, bringing myself up to a different vibration, praying and fasting, sitting my A in the studio pouring out my heart trust me the outcome with tiwa savage would have been very different well guys let us move straight to the next one here's somebody talking about hush puppy's birthday even those people hush puppy helped refused to wish him happy birthday or refused to celebrate him why would they celebrate him who celebrate something like this we want to be associated with something like this. I think we should start being reasonable sometimes. You know, woo, I don't understand. Some people have lost their job just because they posted something about Hush Puppy and their boss sees that and sack them immediately on social media. Yes, I've seen people, like I've seen two people who share that story here in Nigeria. So woo, really? <laughs> If it's Dangote, yes, everybody wants to, you know, associate themselves with that. Any news about Dangote, any news about someone with good reputation. Osh Puppy, so sad, doesn't have that. And that is the honest truth. <laughs> you know, you can say whatever you want to say, but it doesn't have that. Now let's move straight to the next one. Here is an artist who called out, even though the guy did the song with him, Flavor, he still went on to call Flavor out. He said he suffered actually uh, because of that. For three good months, uh, he had to, you know, sleep outside of Flavor's house at Chevron. What happened? Like, I know that video was supposed to be bad and Flavor and yeah. What happened? I guess because Flavor did not post it. How much did he pay? something you can say? Of course, I paid him three million naira. You know, not even only that. When I was doing that song, you know, I stay here in Ikeja. I was going from Ikeja to Chevron every day of the week for like straight three months before that man was able to do his own part. For those of us who go drive from mainland to island, you know how the hold up is on the third mainland bridge. I face that every single day. I keep going there. Baba, help me do this thing now. Make a go promote myself. You know, when you paid someone for something and the person find it difficult to do his own part. So I felt bad because that three months was the worst three months of my life. I can imagine. I was hurt because I'm a human being. But you know, I cannot do anything. I leave it up to God. I don't want to fight anybody. I don't believe in fighting people. I don't like making enemies. So. I like that when you said you have to leave it for God. Yes, of course. I leave it for God to judge. Going from Ikeja to Chevron and this man did not let me in his house. It's one thing first. I was sleeping outside. You understand? That's even showed me that maybe this man do not like me. I will leave here by 12 p.m. By then, the hold up must have been down on Tottenham Bridge. I will get to Chevron maybe 2.30 or 3 p.m. I will stay outside. Nobody will respond to me until evening. Once it's 8 p.m., I will go and fill my freight tank, come back, park in front of his house, put my car on central lock, sleep there, put my AC on, sleep till the next day. Once it's 5 a.m., I will come back to Ikeja, have some rest, a better rest. Once it's 12 p.m. again, I leave because of the hold up on Tottenham Bridge to Chevron again. I keep doing that, keep doing that for three straight months before I was able to achieve that stuff. After that, you didn't post that song.
I don't, guys, let me know what you think about this because um, this came with a mixed reaction. Some people were like, if he shouldn't have done that, that that is even creepy. It is scary, you know, for you to go to someone's house, trouble them just because of a feature. And others were like, I mean, you're already paid him. Why can't Flavor just do the feature and let that pass? Or just allow this, invite this guy inside your house. Well, others were like, he doesn't even really know you. The only thing he knows is you paid for features. Okay, here, Wuli Aroli posted, who go help you, go help you. Who no go help you, no go help you. Stop worshipping people because of help. Well, guys, do you agree with that? Here we've got an interview. Chloe, Chloe, my old friend. <laughs> I can't forget when she called me out on her Instagram page back then like <laughs> she expected our, <laughs> our fans to bash me but funny enough some of most of our fans were also you know a fan of the channel at that time and you know she got <laughs> she got blasted for it like <laughs> and she started blocking them crazy crazy yeah but funny let's watch this um, interview she said um it's poverty that makes people feel that they can't do plastic surgery when did, you, when did you make up your mind and say, okay, you know what, this body thing, we're going to do it? I made up my mind in less than two weeks and I got it done in less than two weeks. I'm planning. I used to think I would never do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't even know if I want to do any procedure again because I feel like the pain Were you scared? But is worth it. Were you scared? Yeah, I was. I was. Actually. You know that last moment when you want to close your eyes, I said to you, I said, unto you, oh God, I know I've made a mistake, but if I'm coming to you, please let me come in peace. Yeah, like, I don't think you made a mistake. No, like, I'm just saying, like, as at that moment. Okay. But when, when I wake up, I just say, can I see my new body? <laughs> and they show me, I say, oh, it's worth it here. Oh, this pain here. It's, oh, no, it's worth it because as a woman, you need to be confident. Don't let anybody tell you. If you have the money, please fix your body. I will tell you that for a fact. Mm -hmm. Because now you know your body. Now you know how. Now, poverty, they make people say, I know if you do surgery. If you get money, go do one. Because no woman wants to see themselves with a big belly. Mm, Deep sure. down, you're sad, but you come out and be confident. When I was flat everywhere, I felt like it was cool. I would come out and be there. I, I think I'm the highest in the room. But now, mm -hmm. even if your hands be like, bones, as this my shape be, if I enter a room, ah, my color. Okay, here we've got Bonner Boy. Let's quickly read this. Bonner Boy says, Squid Games is actually the reality of how no one really truly loves anyone when it comes down to survival. A reality that breaks my heart. It's the reality. I agree with you, Bonner Boy. It's the sad reality. Remember yesterday we reported that Omale lost his pendant where he finally finds it. Yeah, he it said it's an expensive um, pendant it got um, from ice box well it fell during his performance and normally you need to tell us did you give the person some money did you give them something let us know please moving on to the next one here the report says efcc arranged two alleged fraud stars for impersonating anthony joshua to default two british ladies of 15 thousand pounds pounds the first one was ten thousand dollars and um, pounds rather and the other one five thousand pounds and here i am thinking as usual <laughs> how come how did that happen did he ask you that he needs money why would anthony joshua ask you for money ladies if you're watching this Again, I don't know why you guys fall for this trick. Even Nigerian ladies, yes. Multiple Nigerian ladies fall for these tricks. Why would a guy, Ramsey Noah, or some celebrity, ask you for money? Why? Oh, they need money to go to set or something. Why? Why would they ask you for money in the first place? Yeah, guys, let us move straight to the next one. Here, this one. It's very funny at the same time, sad. Look at this guy actually lured his friend into the bush, stabbed him to death. I mean, multiple times, right? Now, that is even not the issue. You see, the real issue here is the fact that 
this guy eh, dreamt about his friend sleeping with his wife. That is the main reason why he killed his friend. And he also tried to kill his grandfather. He accused his grandfather of taking his manhood, spiritually taking his manhood. And he said his dream always come to pass. So that's his fear. His fear that his friend. That man needs to go to Yaba Lift. Seriously. He needs to be taken somewhere for treatment. But this happened in Ghana. They should bring him to the Yaba Lift. Yaba Lift, they try for that on that on that matter. Okay, guys, that is it. Moving on. Politics here. 33.5 billion external debts. Each Nigerian owes foreign creditors 64,000. <laughs> Who they owe? Now, we they owe. I don't understand. I say very funny. You borrowed money to feed your extravagant lifestyle and that of your families. No job creation. Suddenly it's payback time and you remember the citizens. How many of these citizens can boast of 64,000 naira in their account? Moving on to the next one here, we've got Frankie Doho. Here's the question here. What's a life hack that seems fake but is a real lifesaver? Frankie Doho says, when pepper gets into your eyes, lick salt and it will neutralize it. True? Because I can see some comment saying, yes, it's true. How is that possible? Hmm, I've learned something new today. So guys, that is where we're going to hold this. Thank you so much for watching today's question. Who was the nicest celeb you've ever met? The nicest celeb you've ever met. Let me think. Mine is Daddy Freeze. Funny enough, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Daddy Freeze was cool. You know, it is, it is a, you know, nice meeting Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze was just cool. Like, so different from what, what we see on social media and stuff like that. You know, so different. <laughs> you know, maybe it's hiding something, but yeah. This is just different. Cool, nice person. Let me know yours in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Until we see you next time, peace.